Welcome to the His Call Technology Podcast, where we are communicating tomorrow's business needs today. From just outside Nashville, Tennessee, join His Call as we discuss all things telephony, data, and infrastructure related to business leaders. Here we go. How does a billion dollar company get started? Maybe you've heard the stories of a 19 year old Harvard student that created an internal social networking site for his friends and classmates. As the site grew in popularity, he expanded to other universities. The Facebook, as it was known, continued to grow in popularity and finally opened up to any user over 13 years of age with a valid email address. Facebook eventually launched the iOS app, and it continues to be one of the most successful, popular, and controversial applications in use today. Or, perhaps you recognize the story of a couple friends frustrated with their jobs at Yahoo that decide to quit and attempt to get hired at Facebook. After failing to get a job offer, they begin working on a service that would offer a secure, reliable user experience without a lot of advertising and gimmicks. They launch WhatsApp in 2009 And just five years later, WhatsApp was purchased by the very company that did not hire them years earlier. Facebook paid $19 billion for WhatsApp. Lastly, you may be familiar with the story of a couple guys who made an app in just eight weeks flat. The founders spent their weekends developing an app that allowed location-aware photo and note sharing after months of trial and testing. Instagram was launched in October 2010 with 25,000 users showing up on the first day and 1 million users in only three months. As Instagram's popularity skyrocketed, Facebook bought the company with 13 employees just two years later. In 2012, Facebook paid $1 billion to acquire Instagram, which now has over a billion users and contributes billions of dollars of revenue to Facebook. Decades earlier, in 1972, a couple of British-born engineers working for a technology firm in Canada had an idea to start a company selling the first cordless electric lawnmowers. That's right, you heard me, cordless electric lawnmowers in 1972. Mike, one of the founders, borrowed $4,000 to get the company up and going. Mike and Terry's Lawnmowers was born. They secured their distribution channel and sold their first order of electric lawnmowers. Unfortunately, the shipping company lost their very first container of product. The lost container of lawnmowers was not found until months later in September. As you might imagine, you're not going to sell many lawnmowers during September and October in Canada. So what do they do now? They shift focus. For this episode of the His Call Technology Podcast, I have a co-host. I'm joined today by Tiffany, His Call's Marketing Director. This is not Tiffany's first time on the podcast. She's joined us before at least a couple of other episodes. Marketing Director is her official title, but I give her an unofficial title of Executive Producer or Showrunner of the His Call Technology Podcast. Tiffany helps with episode ideas, provides valuable feedback, Make sure the podcast gets posted on schedule and distributed to all our media outlets. Tiffany, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, Thank you, Chuck. Thank you for having me, and thank you for that kind introduction. (laughs) Well, I'm glad to have you, and I really appreciate all your help in keeping this going. Thank you. So you recently got the podcast added on Amazon Music and Audible. Mm -hmm. Um, The His Call Technology podcast is available anywhere you can stream music. So it's not only just available on Podbeam, Spotify, but it's also available on Stitcher, uh, iHeartRadio, iTunes, and even available on YouTube. Fantastic. That's good stuff. Well, hey, one other thing I hope you don't mind we talk about a little bit. You're very involved in Leadership Dixon County. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a, um, I'm a graduate of Leadership Dixon County class of 2018. I went through the 10-month program in 2017 and, in, and then into 2018. 
And uh, at the time that I came to the program, um, I was so excited and honored to be chosen. And I got to see a behind the scenes look of Dixon County, of how it operates. Everything from local city government all the way up to state government. I also got to see um, how the county communicates, how the county operates, and the steps it takes to make our area better. Mm -hmm. Um, Because one thing you learn when you go through leadership Dixon County is that Dixon County is a great place to live. It's a great place to work. We have great jobs. You just really walk away from the class learning that you live in a great community. I'm very, I'm very passionate about leadership Dixon County, but my role this year is I am currently the serving president of the Leadership Alumni Association. So basically, we have over 500 alumni over the 25 years that leadership Dixon County has been in place. I oversee the alumni relations, and I oversee trying to keep those 500 people involved and continue those relationship building that we have have with each class. And it's pretty cool. Very Um, good. Great answer. It's good to give back to the community that way. I mean, I just encourage anybody who wants to learn more. I mean, you don't have to be a CEO to be a leader. One thing that we're learning is leadership is service. It it is not just a title. That's one of the main things that you walk away from whenever you go through the program. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Tiffany, as I recounted the stories of a few extremely successful tech companies, I was reminded recently at His Call's annual company meeting that these stories are really not much different from His Call's. No, I know. You know, one thing that Gary talks about, uh, Gary, our president and CEO, talks about is that our business is changing, our business is shifting. That's right. We've had to shift focus quite a bit over the course of the 26 years. Now, let's get back to Mike and Terry's lawn mowers. You want to? Yeah, it's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm curious. I know. I know. I should know this. After their very first shipment of lawn mowers became lost in shipping, Mike and Terry decided to adjust their business efforts. They shifted their focus and found an interest in touch tone receivers for phone systems. They went to work developing a tone to pulse converter for central office use. In less than a year, they had developed the world's first single-circuit card touch-tone receiver. So what about the name? The name Mike and Terry's Lawnmowers does not really help you sell a lot of circuit cards. So they used parts of the existing name to come up with something totally new. With the M-I from Mike, T-E from Terry, and L from Lawnmowers, they come up with my tail. As the old saying goes... The rest is history. What eventually became Mitel Networks is now a billion-dollar company. To bring this illustration to full circle, as His Call's business grew and voice over IP was becoming mainstream, His Call partnered with Shortail in 2005 to provide our customers a voice over IP phone system. In September 2017, Mitel completed the acquisition of Shortail. Shortail was rebranded as MyTail, and some of the products were renamed. The Shortail system is now known as My Voice Connect. On today's podcast, we're going to highlight an upcoming event that we are partnering with MyTail and ScanSource, one of our distributors. And our hope today is to provide you enough details and information that can be useful to you, but also pique your interest to join this special event on February 10th. So, Tiffany, here's where I'm going to hand it off to you and say, tell us about this event on February 10th. What are we doing? Well, we're going to be doing a football-themed webinar. If you're a fan of the NFL, you know the Super Bowl is going to be Sunday, February 13th this year. I believe it's going to be in Los Angeles, maybe. I think that is correct. I think that is correct. And so uh, we are hosting a webinar along with my tale. On Thursday, February 10th at 2 p.m. Central Time, uh, we'll be partnering with MyTel for this webinar, and we're just going to encourage people to tackle their communication issues uh, and hopefully be an MVP in 2022. You know, with the excitement of the Super Bowl brewing, uh, we thought that would be a good time to kind of have some fun, you know, with some football-themed fun and games and kind of apply that to the webinar. I love the idea. I love the football theme around the Super Bowl. 
And uh, But it's not going to be all fun and games, is it? Yes, we are going to break the webinar down into four quarters, uh, just like a football game, except they won't be as long. But we will touch base on four quarters of information during the webinar. Um, each quarter will last about 10 to 12 minutes uh, and kind of just go over some of the topics that MyTel offers. So we're going to keep it brief. We're going to mm-hmm. have four quarters, so four mm-hmm. different topics, one topic each quarter. Yes, sir. Very nice. And have a halftime show, and you know, because it, be, it wouldn't be a football game without, a, without some type of halftime. You got that right. So, looking are, forward to that. Are you going to sing? No. No, you're not <laughs> singing. Okay. <laughs> All right. MyTel continues to focus on premise-based systems, which is a, a large part of our customer base. We have a large, what was Shortel customer base, and we continue to have customers ask and inquire about that. Of course, you know, there's cloud systems. Customers are moving to cloud systems too. But I did read recently that 40% of all telephony sales are still premise-based systems. Mm-hmm. So customers are still looking for that. And Mitel is one of the companies that continues to focus on research and development of their product to make it pertinent to today's business users. Some of the topics that we're going to cover include what? Well, we're going to be doing some overview of uh, My Team Meetings, which is a product that Mitel offers. Uh, We're going to be touching on the 6900 series phones, talk about an overview of some of the features, some of the bells and whistles. Um, A lot of that is trending uh, in today's phones that other brands have not implemented yet. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we're also going to talk about My Contact Business with Connect. And we're also going to talk about MyTel integration with Microsoft Teams because that seems to be huge right now. It is definitely huge. And so those are all really good topics. Let's dig a little bit into each of those. My Team Meetings is uh, MyTel's cloud-based real-time video conferencing solution. In the past couple of years, we've seen a meteoric rise in um, video conferencing. I think a lot of that a lot of that has to do with the pandemic, but also I think I think other tools like FaceTime and Google Duo. If we're calling one individual, we all have that on our phones. Most of us do. That's right. And so I think that that has helped us adapt to that too. I mean, I know the pandemic has, of course, forced us to, uh, but I think having those features built into our smartphones has made it a lot easier as well. Mm-hmm. Tiffany, I I found some pretty interesting statistics. I found one that said video meetings improve productivity by 50%. You agree with that? You think your video meetings are more productive than just audio meetings? With audio meetings, it took more attention because you you had to listen. You only had one sensory. That's right. With, With video calls... I can hear you, but I can also see you. So mm-hmm. I think that helps with the memory. It helps our, us process it. You know, That's right. I think That's it. Right. I think it only it only used one sensory with, with audio calls. I remember audio calls, but it, it it's is. So, it's I feel, so funny. Just a couple of years I know, later, I remember. Audio I remember calls. the audio bridges, and <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I have to think back to that. It's amazing because it, it wasn't that long ago, but it's a process that I don't use much anymore. So mm-hmm. now it now it is mostly all videos and. And it's convenient, too. And people like to see what's going on. You know, they want to see and hear. That's right. So I think I can agree with that statistic that it is probably more productive. But I think the reason why it's more productive is because we can retain more information. And the more information we retain from a meeting, the more we're going to be like, Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I remember I needed to do that. It's it's much more difficult to multitask when the video camera's on you, too. back Back in the day... When it was audio only, it was pretty easy to be working on something else and pretend you were listening. Did you ever do that, Chuck? Not me. I've heard people (laughs) did. I agree with that. I also found a statistic that made me think of you. It said that bad meeting organization leads to a loss of over $399 billion per year. Mm -hmm. Now you're sitting up there going, "Now now why did that make you think about me, right? Mm, well, I'm hoping you make it thank you because I try to run very effective meetings. You do run a very effective meeting, and that's exactly why I thought about you. We're talking about a lot of money, and so you want a product 
that's going to help you run effective and productive meetings. And that's what we're going to see with my team, with my tails, my team meetings. It is a multi-party video solution that facilitates collaboration through audio, video, and web sharing. It has chat features that allow you to hold chat sessions to uh, receive chat notifications within a meeting. It has file sharing where you can store and share your files. And I know you're probably sitting out there going, yeah, Chuck, there are a ton of these things yeah. that do all of that. And that's exactly right. There are other applications that do this. One of the things we're going to focus on during our event on February the 10th is the integration of my team meetings with My Voice Connect. When you have the latest release of My Voice Connect, the My Team Meetings icon is integrated right in your Connect client. And you can launch My Team Meetings right from the Connect client. So that application that you're using to manage your voice calls, you can launch My Team Meetings right from the Connect client. And that's what we'll be seeing and talking about uh, on February the 10th. You also mentioned that um, we'll be talking about desk phones. We talked about Mitel's 6900 series phones. Do you know, Tiffany, we first talked about those on episode four of the podcast. Mm, what we episode had, are we on now? We oh, Now, that's a great question. You're the executive 40, producer. You're keeping me straight uh, on this. 41, maybe? 42? <laughs> I think that's right. We're in the 40s. Uh, in the 40s, that's right. <laughs> so episode four, we had a couple of Mitel folks on, and, and we just kind of gave an update on Mitel at that time. One of the topics introduced that they were going to be bringing 6900 series phones over to uh, uh, My Voice Connect. Then Linworth and I also got into some more details about the 6900 series phones on episode 17 of the podcast about a year later when they had finally provided that integration. There's maybe some people out there listening to going, desk phones? I'm thinking I don't even need desk phones. Do you ever hear that, Tiffany? I hear it all the time. Today's mobile work style is not everyone is at their desk all day long. Um, That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I hear people say about desk phones is, well, I don't want to be tied to one place. Mm -hmm. If you, you've got a desk phone there and you, I, I don't want to be tied to that desk, you know. Mitel has made it easy for you to move your extension to another phone if you want to be at work from another place for the day. One of the things I really like about the 6900s when there is some Bluetooth technology they have in them that I can pair my mobile phone to my desk phone. When I come into the office, my 6940 phone knows that I have come in with my cell phone and it pairs my cell phone to my phone. Now, when my, if, if somebody calls me on my cell phone, I can use my handset or my headset that's on my desk phone to have that conversation. They've also developed a uh, what's called PC link where you can do the same sort of thing with your PC. Now, you don't have to jump through headsets, you know, if you're you go into one of these mm-hmm. my team meetings mm-hmm. and suddenly you've got a phone call. You can use the head same headset for either one of them. Um, all cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If you've ever been on a long phone call with your cell phone, because it's weird shaped mm-hmm. and it, you know, it's a, it's a rectangle and you hold it up to your ear for an hour at a time, you hang up that phone call and you're like, gosh, right. You know, that was a long <laughs> phone call. <laughs> right. And you know, I could sit there and talk on my de- on my desk phone. It doesn't phase me. It doesn't right. bother me because of the way that it fits on my face and I can use my shoulder and it's mm-hmm. just very more comfortable. Mm-hmm. Are you one that when you're on the phone, do you get up and move around much? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I do. Um, I always have to get up and shut my office door. I, I think my neighbors <laughs> appreciate that, my office suite neighbors. Right. But, uh, but yeah, I, it seems like sometimes conversations flow better whenever you're up walking around or you're pacing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can understand how, you know, that tail connected to the phone can be, you know, not as mobile, but to know that I can easily switch it over to my cell phone mm-hmm. and take the call is, is, is great. Very versatile. Well, I, I mentioned MyTel's made it easy, you know, of course, like any VoIP system to take your extension to another phone. But some of the things on the 6900 series phones I really appreciate is uh, a Bluetooth handset. So no cord, no more do you have that curly cord getting all tangled up oh, that drives me great. crazy. And so I can take my handset, get up and walk around my office, mm-hmm. and I'm not, I'm not tethered to that desk by that curly cord. 
but they've got wireless LAN adapters. They have new headset options, mm-hmm. um, so cordless headsets that allow you to move around. All good stuff, and, and some of the things that we'll want to get into more detail with on our event February 10th. We talked about contact center. Companies thrive when they provide exceptional customer experience. A company can be successful providing good customer service, but you can provide good customer service and not have an exceptional or good customer experience. If you're hard to get in touch with but still provide good service, customers might come back to you, but they're not as happy as one that provides a good customer experience where you're easy to get in touch with. You've got multiple ways for me to engage with you. And then when I do get in touch with you, you always do a very good job. Customers today want multiple options for how they communicate with your business, whether it be WhatsApp that we talked about, social media, email, SMS, text messaging support. Those are all increasingly important for customers to perform routine and simple tasks. Um, My contact center business is MyTel's contact center platform. Um, It's now integrated with My Voice Connect. It's not a new application. It's been around for a number of years, so it's solid. The old Shortail customers will be familiar with what was Enterprise Contact Center. They now call that My Voice Connect Contact Center. And so we'll talk about some of the differences in My Voice Connect Contact Center and My Contact Center business at the event on Mm -hmm. February 10th. Yeah, Um, 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. Central Time. Join us to hear more about My Contact Center business, and you can actually see it in action, right, Tiffany? Yes. You know, one of the things that I have noticed in the past couple of years, in the pandemic, early on, Mm -hmm. Zoom, it seemed like every time we were doing a meeting, people wanted to do it on Zoom. Mm -hmm. But what I found over time is in business, Mm -hmm. fewer people were using Zoom. I suddenly started having more Microsoft Teams meetings. So Microsoft Teams picked up over the past couple of years. It's not uncommon for me to have at least a couple of Teams meetings a week. How many so, how many meetings a week do you have? Oh, wow. I would say that I have at least 10, at least two a day. Video calls a week. Yes. That is a, that that is a lot. That is a lot. And Some, they're all on different platforms. You know, it just varies. I don't use Zoom at work much anymore. Mm-hmm. That's that's what's been really interesting to me. And so I use a lot of different ones, but Zoom less and less where two years ago it seemed like I was it was Zoom was was dominant most often dominant yeah. in that yeah. game. Yeah. Personal and business. So uh that's been a really interesting change. But Teams, like I mentioned, Teams has really taken off. With customers that have my voice connect. It could be important to integrate your Connect with Microsoft Teams so that you can contact with coworkers in a way that you, you know, that you want to communicate with them and um, on the platform that you want to use. So integration with Microsoft Teams could be important. At the event on February 10th, we'll talk about integration, MyTel integration with Microsoft Teams, and I expect there's going to be a lot of interest in that. So, Tiffany, if somebody is interested in the event, how can they get more information? Well, if they are a MyTel HisCall customer, hopefully they've already received an invite. But if they're not and want to be and want to learn more, then they can easily go visit our website at www.hiscall.com and click on blog post. uh, And there will be a blog posting about the webinar. And then we'll also include a registration link in that blog post. So again, you visit our website, www.hiscall.com. There will be something there that highlights this event, highlights the MyTail and His Call football-themed webinar. And we got some really cool prizes. I don't think you'd want to miss it. The main thing is that uh, we're going to reward you for attending uh, the webinar, but then also you're going to gain the knowledge and be a part of a winning team. All right. Very good stuff. So visit hiscall.com to get more information. Tiffany, anything you would like to say to wrap up the podcast today? No, I just hope people will go on and register. I think that it would be a really good thing. I'm interested in attending just so that way I can learn more about the MyTel product Um, and especially that Microsoft Teams integration. I'm really excited about that. 
All right, Tiffany, what would you say to our listeners in regards to the podcast as you put on your His Call marketing hat? And what would you tell our listeners about the podcast? One thing I would like for people to know is to help spread the word about the podcast. Um, I love it. Come our, on. Our podcasts are short themed, you know, really easy to listen to whenever you're going for a drive or maybe you just want to have a 15, 20 minute break in your day. Um, and they're very informative, um, but also it's just really good just to just to kind of know that his call has your best interest in mind when it comes to your communication platforms. There's several different products and solutions that we offer you that can be specific for your business needs. And I think as you listen to the podcast, you'll learn the different products and services that we offer. Fantastic. All right, well, I'm going to ask you one last thing. Mm -hmm. Close us out today. How do we close out every podcast? Don't be afraid, only believe. That's right. See you on the next podcast. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks for taking the time to listen to the His Call Technology Podcast. Subscribe to this podcast so you can stay up to date with today's business communication trends. To learn more about His Call solutions for your business needs or to listen to previous podcasts, visit us at our website, hiscall.com. Thank you.